Gary Hoffman. Uh, I'm the owner of Toking of Waco. I'm Amy Hoffman. I am the owner of Toking of Waco. My father started it when I was in high school. He actually started a small towing company right as he got out of high school, and he uh, he was in it for about five years. And he got out of it and did convenience stores for a little while, but decided that towing was in his blood and, <laughs> and got back uh, in it. And he started it in September of '92. Uh, so we've been in business for almost 32 years now. Uh, he put me through Baylor. Uh, I wanted to just go straight into it because I knew I, <laughs> it had me uh, as well and I knew this is what I was going to do. But I uh, went to Baylor and got a business management degree and uh, we've just continued to grow from there. Uh, well, I married into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I did medical sales, um, never thought I would be in the record business, and um, I just started helping him one day. Uh, actually, we were at home and he was answering the phone from home, and he had to get in the shower and he said, I need you to answer the phone if it rings. I'm like, oh, what do I say? <laughs> He's like, uh, thank you for calling Toking. <laughs> I'm like, and then what? <laughs> um, so. We actually had another business, uh, another record uh, in San Marcos, and I helped him there actually doing uh, the billing for motor clubs. And I did that for about a year and just to help him. And finally, I just said, you know, you got to put me on payroll because this is a, a lot of work because I actually had my own job as well. Um, and so then I just started doing it all and <laughs> just learned being by, by him and just have I don't know. More. I got lucky and you married me. So. <laughs> I don't know. Like, just kind of fell into it, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, uh, James Lindgren, co owner, manager, I guess. That's about it. Linda Lindgren married James Lindgren over 40 years ago, and uh, we started a tow king together, and wow. here we are still today. Uh, James got into the towing business early on, and uh, he has done it really all of his life, and he loves it. James enjoys taking care of customers, because ultimately all we can provide is customer service. And he liked helping people. Early on, he did a lot of auto clubs, and you meet a lot of nice people that's just desperate to maybe get a boost or a tire change. and. He's one, he's a compassionate person and he likes to help people and make sure the customer is satisfied. And so he felt like he got that more through towing than anything probably that he's done. When he first started doing the towing, they didn't even have the quality of helping them like fatalities and, and extricating people that's injured. And so he saw a lot of the bad stuff at first hand happened to get bodies out of cars and he, he worked so hard and he had calloused hands and he kept saying you're going to college you're going to do something with your life look at these hands and you do something for you but Gary fell in love with it at 14 he was very active in the business and continues to be so and then as our son Gary grew up and was going to go to college James made him a partner in the business keep him going to college. And Gary has certainly taken over and he's gonna be the second generation for our company. In the summertime when he was out of school, he'd, he'd ride with me during the day and I always say, you write the invoice, you write better than I do. <laughs> and uh, I'd jump out and unhook the car and he'd be writing the invoice and I'd pull up and we'd be ready to go to the next call. We'd learn sometimes 20 calls a day or more. Just me and him and then just just grown into that, really. When I first started, it was sweeping the floors of the shop. Uh, I was in high school and I would help clean the truck, sweep the floors and do whatever uh, as it grew. And we started to add accounts. Uh, I did the statements, the billing, monthly billing, and it started very small and continued to grow. Uh, while I was at Baylor, I used to dispatch in the evenings while I was in class. I'd go to class in the mornings and then come to work and then take the phones home at night and dispatch. Uh, and just every aspect of it, I drove for a while uh, and just whatever's needed. <laughs> you know, there were other aspirations in, at different times, but that was kind of my primary focus. I knew that was probably what I was going to do. Uh, I dreamed of owning my own business and 
kind of got the kickstart and, and just took it and ran with it. Well, I think helping grow, I think me going to Baylor did help a lot. Getting a business management degree there just taught me more ins and outs, looking at numbers, different things. Uh, we eliminated some of the stuff like auto clubs that weren't paying as well and focused on better paying uh, work and making the company more profitable and then we expanded into heavy duties and just lots of different areas that we diversified to to, to help it grow. We currently have 23 trucks in, the, in our fleet. We provide light, medium, heavy duty towing. Uh, we have an air cushion recovery system. We have winch box and skid steers. We have a little environmental cleanup company tied to it. Uh, and we've recently, in the last couple of years, added on uh, a couple of additional companies, towing companies, so we have several other trucks uh, in the neighboring areas. Tow King has been around for 32 years and we cover the state of Texas. We have a lot of good commercial contracts and uh, we are daily going to Austin, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio uh, for those guys. Our primary area is Waco and McLennan County. Uh, several of the surrounding counties are rural, rural <laughs> so we uh, help cover those counties. Uh, and then our new business ventures uh, include the cities of West and Hillsborough and Hill County uh, going north toward Dallas. We believe customer service is king. Uh, Dad taught me that a long time ago as well. We are in it for the repeat customers. A lot of people in our industry seem to be in it for the one time hit and uh, that's kind of given our industry a bad name that we're hoping to turn around and it seems to be getting better through the years, but uh, we are in it for the repeat customers and we have a good customer base. Uh, but just treating people like you would want to be treated, you know they're in a bad situation and and uh, as getting out and doing the jobs nobody else wants to do as well. You know, if they call for a tire change at three o'clock in the morning, nobody else wants to go, we're gonna get up and go. And uh, that's how another way we've grown the business is just by doing everything we can. Uh, my name is Jimmy Garcia. I work for Toking in Waco, Texas. Been here for 14 years. I started out at Toking as a uh, dispatcher. I dispatched for a couple of years here before I uh, Moved into the towing side. I was learning the ropes from Gary Hoffman, the owner here. Uh, decided the towing wasn't for me. <laughs> wasn't for me. So uh, I was offered a maintenance position here. and I've been the maintenance manager ever since. Gary takes customer service in our industry very seriously. And I'm sure he takes it that way in his personal life. Uh, speaking with Gary from time to time on this very subject, it starts at dispatching because dispatching is the key to this business. They're our first line of defense. They answer the phone. When you call, they're talking to you directly. They don't get to Jimmy or Josh or Gary or James or anyone else in this business or at this business before they talk to you. And you're the key and that's what Gary stresses to dispatching to us, to everyone. It's, it's very, very important to Gary and to our business that we sell customer service and that we're, the courtesy is very, very important when you're answering that phone because you do not know what's wrong. You don't know what that person's going through. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what's happening there at their scene because you're not at their scene. You're answering the phone. So you show courtesy and customer service. And that's what we do and that's what Gary stresses. He's not gonna accept anything else. My name's Josh Pace. I work for Toking. Uh, I'm kind of your day-to-day -day operations manager. Uh, there's a fine line between dispatch, drivers, and then your customers, and your customers are always first. We're doing something right that we keep our customer base pretty happy. Everybody knows who Toking is around Waco. Uh, we have other tow co companies that actually call us from around Waco for help. And I think that's what separates us. We, we set the standard. Uh, we spend a lot of time training. You know, we don't just throw a guy in a truck and wish him luck. You know, we, we put a lot of training to every, every driver and make sure that they have the knowledge to go out there and do things not only correctly, but safely. And everybody goes home at the end of the day. We take care of our customers. We don't have a product to sell here at Toking. All we have to sell is our customer service 
and the way we treat our customers. That's very, very important to Gary, James, and Linda here at Toking, and, and it's, uh, it's stressed all the time. And it's, uh, I believe it's the main thing that separates us from any other towing company is what we provide in customer service, from our dispatching to our operators. Uh, right along with that customer service, I teach every one of them. Uh, as soon as we hire them, I, I tell them, act like every call you're going out to take care of your mother, grandmother, child, whoever it is that you love most in the world and how you would want to be presented to them. Uh, you want your truck clean, you want your appearance clean, nobody wants to climb in a dirty truck, smells like smoke or trash everywhere, that kind of stuff. Uh, so presenting yourself uh, in a nice manner and treating that person with respect. When we get the reviews, whether it's on Google or we actually send out surveys to, to kind of judge ourselves, it's in-house. And that's probably the most rewarding aspect of it is when we go back and we see that you know, this customer said Joe was doing a great job and took care of us and how fabulous our trucks are, or how quickly we got to them. So when we hear that kind of good feedback, it's it's rewarding to, to me and I'm sure they're the rest of them. And then I share that. I usually post it out there for the drivers when we get a bunch of good five star reviews. I'm like, hey, you're doing great. Keep it up because that makes the job. You know, if you're making a difference, then that, that just makes your job a little more meaningful. Uh, the skills and lessons I learned from my parents are definitely the hard work and determination. Uh, I learned that from dad at the beginning, seeing him come in when I was a kid, seeing him coming in greasy, dirty, working hard, getting up in the middle of the night, going again. Uh, back up the next morning, doing it again, and that's kind of instilled in me the same drive. Uh, and I think that's what's helped us grow so much, just the self-motivation drive and, and knowing you got to do it to take care of your family. The type of leaders that James and Gary are the ones that they will never ask you to do anything that they won't go and do. Uh, and when I say that, I mean at two, three o'clock in the morning, they're coming out if we have a big, uh, big truck rollover or something like that they're out there with us. If we're overloaded with calls, they're gonna get in a truck and go run those calls. It doesn't matter if it's a tire change, a jump start, or a, or a big tow. They, they go out and they do them. Um, and to me, that's that sets a high standard as far as an employee goes, because you, you so often work for a company that you may have a boss that's never done your job, but he's gonna tell you how to do it. And I can sit here and say with confidence that there's nothing I've had to do at Toking that they haven't done or, or had to go through. Gary is the operation and the backbone of what we do here every single day. And everybody knows it. He is the glue that holds Toking together, in my view, and always has been since the day I started here. And when someone comes in to work here at Toking, that's one of the first things they'll notice is Gary's stability, his leadership ability is unmatched. Unmatched. He has a way of talking to you in a way you need to be talked to and don't understand that that's the way he's talking to you. You understand? He, he just has that, that about him. Never been a confrontational man. Has never been a confrontational man. Just a good leader, a good owner, a good boss, and a good friend. That's what I, I would say about Gary. Teamwork is important for us to work together. Most um, husbands and wives uh, can't work together um, or they are like, I can't believe you guys are together 24 seven pretty much. <laughs> um, we do really well together. Um, I try to, he has a lot on his plate um, and I just try to pick up the slack. If, if he needs me to, I'm learning payroll. So if he needs me to do payroll, I try to help with that. Um, I mean, that's just kind of how we got started our, in our relationship. Um, I just kind of stepped up and said, what can I do to help you um, relieve some of your stress? What can I do to make it better for you? And it just gives me, not the work that I need, because that's not the right <laughs> word. But um, More jobs. <laughs> yeah, more things to do. We definitely balance each other out very well. She's been amazing at helping me out. 
Uh, as we've mentioned, my parents started it and the business has just grown and grown and grown and over the years taking on more and more roles myself and then Amy coming into the picture and us getting married and then she taking on roles to help help uh, boost the business as well and uh, help balance me out. Uh, it is a 24-7 business, it is non-stop and we work with each other every day but the majority of the day we're not really around each other <laughs> she's doing her part of the business i'm doing my part of the business and we're running and gunning and then might see each other for an hour in the evenings <laughs> it's feeding everybody getting the kids ready for bed and all that kind of stuff and then get up and do it early again so. and we do uh, our monthly <coughs> statements we uh or i say it's our uh, couples therapy because <laughs> you know it is a it's a, it's a battle with that but we do it every month and we laugh we shut the door okay we're in our therapy right now so we get it done <laughs> Yeah. Um, what makes me the proudest of Gary is he obviously is a hard worker. Um, he's teaching my children about hard work. He's a great dad, um, devoted husband, great provider, obviously. I mean, I never dreamed that I would have everything that I have. Um, I'm able to be a wonderful mother and attend everything for my kids, even at school. Um, just, I mean, we have a great life, we really do, and, and it's because of him. I feel the same way. I'm very proud of Amy and the way she stepped into the role with the business. Uh, she's an amazing wife, amazing mother to our children, and takes care of everything and makes me the man that I am. So, it's, it's a family atmosphere, it's a, it's a family owned business, and it's like nothing else I've ever been involved with. I've always worked for corporations and manufacturing corporations and, and different things like that. But being in a family owned business, it's more personal. When something goes on, it's not hard to walk into the owner's office. The owner, not your boss or a supervisor, or the owner's office and say, Gary, James, I'm having this problem today. I need, to, I need to do this. You go ahead. That's the response you get here. I've known the owners of Toking uh, for over 20 years now. Uh, I, they're like a, you know, James and Linda are like, are like my, my mom and dad. Gary's like a brother to me. Uh, and they treat me the same way. And when they do that with all their employees, you know, they. They, they preach family first and they really do care about it. Well, um, our daughter, we have two kids, Olivia, who is 11, and our son, um, Lane, who is nine. Olivia thinks she wants to work here at Toking. Um, she wants to be the manager. Um, Lane, he's not really sure. Um, they love coming here. They want to come here every single day. Um, they think it's fun, which is great because we are here a lot. We basically, we live here. Um, I mean, they love it. They love the, the, the drivers. The, I mean, it, it, we're like a big family, even with the drivers. Um, we treat, we're, we're pretty laid back and there's pros and cons to that because then there is a fine line where, okay, business is business, but um, we're, we're a big, happy family, I would say. Definitely, and that's what I was gonna add. There's pros and cons to all of it. It's great to be able to have our children here. Most people don't get that opportunity to go to work and still bring your children there, but then there's also times where it's business is business, it's time to yeah. stop playing and, yeah. and calm down. I do have an older son as well that's part of the business, and uh, he, he helps where he can do whatever. He dispatches and does different things, mm -hmm. but he kind of grew up in it similarly to how I did to an extent. Uh, and so he's he's learned a lot of the ins and outs of it as well, but uh, it's rewarding but challenging as well. Uh, my name is Tyler Gordon. I'm with Toki and Waco. Uh, so my relationship uh, started with uh, the company when I was three years old. Uh, Gary uh, married my mom, and they were together for I think like eight years. I mean, they're just I mean they're great people. Like I said, I'm I always looked at myself as like uh, you know like the, the stepchild, you know, and not once I've ever felt that way around here with them. Like they've always treat, treated me like blood and family. Okay, so my name is Olivia Hoffman and my parents are Amy and Gary. Um, my dad's the owner and then my mom's a manager and she helps out. So whenever I'm around here, it's usually after school 
and I usually have to get my schoolwork done and then sometimes I just go around talking to the drivers and other people getting to like bond with everybody. When I'm older I want to own this place and then eventually become a teacher. Morning. Nine. I kind of want to be a lawyer. It's a nice job. What happens when a frog gets in a wreck it gets tubbed? I don't think for anything. I mean, I, I, I don't mind. Like, I, I don't care if I work here forever or and be a manager or whatever it is. You know, I'm just, I like being around everybody. And like I said, it's a family environment for all the employees. And I like hanging out with the guys here and they like hanging out with me. So I'm cool with whatever, whatever comes. My name is Trent Rustler, uh, truck sales with Zips Truck Equipment. Uh, the Toking has been a customer longer than I had been at Zips, I would say 13, 14 years. I, I started working with them about 10 years ago. Me and Trent were discussing a little while ago, I think we've bought a little over 25 trucks uh, through Zips. Uh, right as Trent became a salesman, we were buying from Skip initially and we bought two or three from him, I believe, and then right as Trent came on with Zips, and we've been uh, he's been great to us and we've uh, appreciated all the service we get. Uh, they like the, the Hino chassis and the Freightliner chassis is what they prefer. Uh, now, you know, the past couple of years it's been more what you can get your hands on and uh, it's been a couple internationals in there for carriers. Uh, light duties, it's uh, pretty much all RAM, either 55 or 4500. On the carrier back end, it's uh, typically a 12 series carrier, steel bed, painted subframe removable rails. Uh, the light duty records, it's going to be your twin line extendable boom. Um, Century 312 will get you the auto load features. So, And they put, uh, they, they kind of outfit it with the Gojax and uh, the underbody um, dolly bunks. Uh, we do have the mix of all the different types of trucks. Uh, the light duty trucks we usually rig out with dollies and Gojax. Uh, and we do a lot of towaways down at the universities. We do the police contracts, so we need dollies, working accidents. We usually use a twin line extendable boom winch uh, to work recovery with. We build them all the same way with the same toolboxes and the same setup where that way the guys, if they're jumping from truck to truck, one truck goes down, they need to hop in another truck. They're kind of know the same, they're set up basically the same way, uh, if at all possible. Uh, we've built a few heavies through zips and uh, we kind of leaned on their expertise for, for everything we loaded out with, but there are a few particular things that we like and make sure they're included. They kind of keep it consistent across all their units. Uh, as for like your uh, warning lights in the grill and the tailboard, that's pretty consistent on their carriers, light duties, heavy duties. Um, their light bar is the same. We, we uh, do an amber light bar with red-blue modules uh, in it, so it's the Texas Move Over. Um, for their carriers now, they do uh, three underbody toolboxes and then open box, open box toolbox. Uh, that open box is for cribbing, lumber, you know, uh, trash cans, pails of that nature. Uh, and another thing on their heavies is they do the Baylor Green uh, for uh, their fenders uh, and their center sections. Our favorite truck that we've built with Zips is probably the one behind us. It's a 2022 Kenworth. Uh, with a Vulcan V103 50 ton recovery unit on it. Uh, we purchased a couple of tru heavy duty trucks from Zips uh, that year and this one just came out the prettiest. <laughs> uh, it won the beauty contest at the Texas Toe Show last year for the heavy duties. So I choose to work with Zips because of the, the service that we receive and the professionalism and uh, continually checking in to see what, what's needed and if uh, just basically checking in on us. A lot of the other companies don't tend to do that and I never had to follow through over the years and I'm a pretty loyal person. I know loyalty is not as common as it used to be but when somebody treats me right I believe in staying with them and and, and uh, carry that over in business as well. I've really enjoyed um, working with uh, uh, Gary, Amy, James and Linda over these past 10 years. I'm very thankful that uh, you know for their business and their continued business, and I very much appreciate their their friendship, and I look forward to uh, continuing that uh, going forward. Uh, we 
we've been a part of the Southwest Tow Operators Towing Association, which is the largest in Texas uh, since its inception in 2007. I've been the president of the association for the last 10 to 12 years, and it's taught me a lot even as far as doing legislative issues, going to the Capitol. Uh, I go to the Capitol probably six times a year now during legislative session where before I never would have done that. And just learning the different ins and outs of the industry as opposed to just going out and hooking up a car, just learning out everything to make things better uh, from slow down move over laws to uh, fighting regulation that we believe is harmful to the industry. The industry faces a lot of challenges as it's growing and becoming more known. Uh, just within the last two weeks, the FMCSA is passing a federal regulation trying to reg regulate predatory towing. And there are still bad apples in the industry, but there's a lot of good guys in it as well. And I feel like probably that five to 10% is giving the bigger portion of the companies a bad name. Uh, and that's gonna be one of our biggest fights against the trucking associations and the uh, in insurance companies that are looking to regulate our pricing. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, nothing is getting cheaper. Fuel, insurance, equipment, nothing is getting cheaper for us, but they're trying to drive our prices down. And that's one of the biggest challenges, as well as facing the safety out there on the, on the highways. That we Sleepless nights worrying about our guys out there on the side of the road, because they are like family, and we don't want them getting hurt, killed, anything else. And you just hear more and more every day of uh, drivers being injured or killed in the line of duty, basically. I uh, really enjoy um, the little things like going to, to the hospitals um, with the first responders and all the lights, like for Christmas, the kids who cannot, you know, be, be out of the hospital. We actually go with the first responders and we all line up. I mean, it's all around the hospital, all of the towing companies, police, policemen, firemen and everything, and just little stuff like that. I really like that kind of Dealing with the community and dealing with the people coming in the door every day, you never know uh, what their situation or scenario is and trying to make the best of a bad situation for uh, the customers that we see every day. And working with the public, giving back, like she mentioned, doing the hospital things. We go to a lot of uh, uh, charity things for different uh, organizations, Shriners, and, uh, and then lots of benefits for the police and fire departments and stuff like that. That we like to give back to. The most rewarding aspect is probably the life that is afforded us. It is a very challenging situation, very challenging job, uh, but it has afforded us the ability to build a nice house that we've dreamed of, to travel, to take our kids on vacations and do different things that we want to do, uh, allow our children to go to private schools as opposed to being in some of the public schools that uh, aren't always the best these days. Uh, it's been very rewarding in that sense, as well as uh, being able to give back, as we were talking about a little earlier. My why is probably just for my family more than anything. It started out as just my personal drive to be the best at what we do. Uh, I want my company to be the best and be the one that people look to and say, hey, we had a good experience with those guys. They really treat people right, um, that kind of thing. Uh, and to be able to live the life we live and have what we have.